Hi, I'm Simon Gilbert and I would love to give you some pointers on how to banish all your fears of that upcoming speech. Now, the first time that I ever had to stand up and speak in public was on the occasion of my sister's wedding. Now, I was only 18 at the time and I had to make the welcome speech to the hundred or so guests in the function suite. My father having died earlier and he would obviously have been the one to make the speech. Now I have to tell you that I was absolutely terrified. I felt like dying and falling through a hole in the floor. I knew exactly what I wanted to say. I'd rehearsed it many times, but when it came to it, my throat completely closed up, my tongue stuck to the roof of my mouth and I just couldn't get the words out. How many of you out there are familiar with that situation. Well, I'm very sympathetic and I know exactly how you feel. So let's see about changing that situation now. Here are four simple points which I think you'll find will be hugely beneficial to you. So the first point is rehearse. Work out exactly what you want to say and how each section fits into the next. Run this until you are really familiar with it and then run it again as if you were telling it to your best friend. Mark just key words of your first sentence to get you going. Once you get past that you'll find everything will flow quite naturally. The second point is before you open your mouth to say a single word take a good slow breath intake like so. The third point, smile. However terrified you're feeling, smile. Smile as you take that breath into your tummy. A smile is the greatest means of breaking down barriers between you and your audience. You may find that your audience will smile back at you, but don't smile like that, because that looks like absolute terror, but just like that, which is so much nicer. And your fourth point is enjoy. Your audience has become that best friend that we spoke about before. So chat to your audience as if it was your best friend and you will find that your natural personality and enthusiasm and confidence will come bounding across to them. And most importantly, they will believe in you, not just as a speaker, but as a real person. And coupled with that, you will have that growing belief in yourself. So you turn, you see, into what was going to be a terrifying ordeal into a pleasurable experience. So for more information about my sessions, which take in voice projection and self-belief and confidence, you'll find all details on my website below. So I look forward to hearing from you all very soon. Thank you.